So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services. Very fine, the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the Aurum feast and also the returning of the cities of the Mashiach laid waste for many centuries. As we read it in Yeshayahu the prophet, is extremely important understanding of revelation and the time of the restoration period because came out very important information concerning then Revelation and Daniel and also Yeshayahu but mostly Yeshayahu the 23rd chapter explains a section related with trade or the restoration of trade as per the instructions of Abraham obviously because his first son was then from the lineage of what today are the Arabs so then came out very fresh information regarding then the Soviet government visiting with the Saudi Arabians and these truly is given us a few more understandings because not only this they want a regulation of prices of crude so then this visit for next Sunday is then very nicely delineated on a very important newspaper online newspaper by the name the Briggs Post the new system that is coming up and they want the price of a drum of oil roughly at 60 USDs so then the Minister of Energy and Industry of Saudi Arabia is then involved with talks with the Soviet Union. What was then many years ago a solely decision of the United States it was then transitioned in the hands of the Arabs, China and the Soviet Union. So the situation is becoming very dire because there are sections of this particular article indicating that at least for six months having this price raised now then they are doing these obviously because of US elections and the stabilization of this government but it's not as near as the price that it was previously so that's roughly a half of the cost of a couple of a half years ago So then, regarding Africa, the Kingdom of the South, during this time of the Restoration period, we find the Soviets also having secret talks with the leader of South Africa. Now, these news came out roughly 72 hours ago the visit of the Soviet leader with South African leader now today you find then the Soviets making a deal with the Arabs so then the developments of information 
and what Daniel is explaining is as fresh as it was then roughly 2,000 and 500 years ago. So at some point these holy instructions are a bit scary because when they are read properly the steps of formation then leading towards revelation is absolutely perfectly aligned. So then a few videos ago it was explained the influence of the Kingdom of the North and the deal with China and the deal with the Arab nations, the sons of Yishmael and the importance of the power held by the sons of Yishmael, oil and then the teachings of Abraham. These topics were described before in fact many times. So it shows a consistency of events and facts and these particularly during these times it's showing everyday news and these are in line with the Holy Instructions. So then there is also a visit that was held and the point is yesterday the president of China visited with the Cambodian king and they've met and they talked and they want hundreds of factories started because of a partnership with China. Now the president of China also obviously visited a few more places and then Bangladesh also involved showing sectors of these many areas that China is targeting and these areas are becoming economical zones or economic zones later on then linking up with the main system of China So we in this country, we should be smart, and we are truly smart. During the time of the Second World War, there were more than 8,000 ships in the Pacific, and they were obviously replenished with men, replenished with stores, replenished with the fuel, and the inventory was absolutely near perfection. So these days are as they were while we were organizing for the war after 41 with the Pearl Harbor trouble you had then you find an amazing amount of organization so let's say for the moment our country is entirely in danger. We should react during this time of elections and then absolutely cleaning the country from its position of a state of stale.
you know a lot of people are complaining that our military is nearly abandoned they are complaining that there are enough troubles but not very many people coming up with the solutions so then our country has to come back together as they were during the time the invasion of Pearl Harbor in each person doing his or her utmost in every area in making sure then the country is absolutely clean from people who are only busy bodies Even Yamamoto, he said words regarding America back then, those words were very scary. But we are during a times of a second Pearl Harbor coming. It's not truly an invasion of aircrafts. But it is a virtual invasion of a system. Now people have liberties around the world. But there are certain liberties that are truly a danger. When there are monetary systems not linked with the central banks, you can be sure of it won't be enough taxes coming in. Because of the importance of the freighters, because of the importance of the internet trade, purchasing via internet, via telephones, Gathering of taxes is going to become crucial from the side of the transporters. So then in order for the government to receive its taxes, the way they are going to deal with packages and materials and freight it is none other than a military way of doing this because of the importance of taxation not a cent from the government should be lost and this is the absolute extreme severe way of doing because it ensures the serious state when comes to defending what belongs to the government but on the other side the government has obligations to make sure they are lean and clean now if they are fat and dirty it doesn't do much to become a severe counting inventory if they turn around and they squander the organization of the nation takes each individual person and everybody working together making sure then the country gets put back where it belongs for instance, if in your area of your town there are not very many garbage trucks, then the neighbors they come around and come up with a plan. They can't leave only garbage in front of the house, they have to do something with it. They have to think of a container 
and start organizing themselves, not only expect the state or the city to do on their own. As long as certain of these sections are safe to do so, they should be used. People should be given a specific amount of liberty to do what is maintained. So then, those who are in Alaska, very cold area, and they understand there is pumping of crude. If they want inspections done on those pipes, they should be trained. They should do these kinds of work for a very minimum wage. So they can learn the ABCs of the trade. So the people working become useful. The people receiving the work are very glad because of the price. So it show you there are many ways of taking care of the problems of our country. And at some point we should return those activities that we had during the time of the Second World War. Organized it, coming in on time, products finishing up on time, boxes closed, counted for, and then out in the field. Everything timed. And then cleaning and repairing and visiting and being there, being on the telephone having a quick balance of not charging a lot but neither should charge very cheap and it changes from case to case so very important because the problem is not the United States, the problem is the nations in the south of us. They are expecting decisions done in this country that's going to benefit them. So if this country forgot how to become leader, we must get those qualities back in real fast. Because the South American countries, they are watching over us and making sure that what we do that is the best for us so they can start doing as we are doing. So we're not only dealing with our own country, we are dealing with lots of other countries. So then during these visits, the United States should have only a topic in mind. Understanding the geopolitical situation of Congo and organizing this country. And then later on, Talking of the facets of Yod He Vav He and also regarding Yeshayahu. So please stay tuned, much more coming up.